Why are you still wearing those? Babe, trust me. I really think you should take those things off. We gotta tell the whole truth. I know you did not just walk up in this house. What are you doing here? Shane? Shane, don't! Can you believe this? We're supposed to be doing life with these people and this is how they treat the non-believers? I'm kidding. Truth is, I totally had this coming. Gotta go where the work is, baby. I don't think they take too kindly to us. Lift coast carpet baggers around the arts. Babe, you got these people all wrong, okay? If there's one thing I know from growing up down here, it's Southern hospitality. Once they see this Confederate beard, they're gonna invite us over for green beans. These are my people, all right? Trust me. Yeah, you look like you're one of them. Oh, you bagging on my driving shorts? Casey, you like my driving shorts, don't you? Daddy, can we have a bunny? We talked about this last week and the week before. You said no in California. Yes, I did. You can say yes in Georgia. No, babe. The thing is, down here, they don't keep rabbits as pets. They eat them. Dude! I'm kidding. I'm kidding. She knows I'm kidding. I'm kidding. You're not funny enough. the south hey, don't go falling back in love with it again we're here for a year right one two at most four thousand miles here we are so this is the old homestead What's so sparky? This place is a dump. <laughs> <laughs> Let's unpack. What is this? Like a bread time machine? <laughs> where, where do I put this? Over there, bottom cabinet. Oh, you got mentioned in an Uber Critic article. Documentary filmmaker R. Scott Cooper graduated from film school nearly 12 years ago. Long enough for him to have clearly forgotten the day they taught about knowing one's audience. In his directorial debut, Not a few shorts. Mom's Basement, Cooper seems genuinely interested in maintaining his objectivity, yet still somehow manages to utterly destroy his subject matter, gaming culture, which is, by the way, the only audience who would actually pay to see a documentary about gaming. It goes on from there. Yeah, I probably owe him a beer because it's like the nicest one I've read yet. You don't think the subjects of this new film are going to be 10 times more sensitive than the gamers? Oh, of course they will, but this time I won't just seem interested in objectivity. I'll protect it like a guard dog. Or... Have you seen my French press? Yep, it's in that one. Duh. Really? In this one. What this are one. you doing? That one. I just don't know what I'm supposed to do all day. Yeah, no, I uh, totally get it. We're in a new town, in a new house. We got no friends. I have no job. We have no job. And we have no more wine. That's a problem. I know. What were we talking about? You were trying to cheer me up, unsuccessfully. Right. Yeah, so uh, <clears throat> I think that once we settle in, 
cost of living down here is nothing. And maybe this is a good time for you to open your yoga studio. What? Yeah. Come on. Why not? Huh? You know why. You can sell it when we move back. Or once this documentary is a massive hit, we're both millionaires, and you'll have a studio in Georgia and another in LA. Mm -hmm. You'll be a bi-coastal yoga mogul. <laughs> what? Where is it a bi-coastal yoga mogul? No, I said it right the first time. <laughs> My yostal coca mogul. I love you, but you're drunk. Go to bed. Hey. <laughs> God haters, mockers, fornicators. Cry to God and save your soul. It's not too late. Repent. Welcome back to the Sweaty South, Scotty Cooper. Mr. Ballard yeah. Nelson. Thanks for bringing me home, man. Oh, it's good, good, good. So this is us. Yeah, yeah, that's me right on top there. Nice. You're in the basement. Okay, cool. Good morning, Heather. Good morning, Mr. Nelson. Extra cream, extra sugar, right? Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. I just like to keep my team happy. Since when does the producer fetch coffee for the intern? You dirty old dog. You're gonna feel guilty about that one day. Uh, I don't feel guilty about anything. Ever. Ah, <laughs> uh, but this old guy out here sure thinks I should though. Look at him. They're just teeing it up for us. Well, you know, that guy isn't exactly representative of your people. You know what? You're going to knock this thing out of the park. Now, you know that, right? Yeah. Yeah? Good. Come on. That's it. Sit. Sit. <laughs> mm. You don't know how much I miss making documentaries. You don't. It's magic. It's a beautiful thing. You know our targets. They're just like fish in a barrel. We're just going to be a breeze. A breeze. Well, you know, targets is kind of a strong term. Maybe we should stick with subjects. Oh, God. I got something I gotta show you, boy. That is a cross cam, man. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. I had that custom made for you. That's, that's pretty cool, but I got a C100. Much better resolution. Yeah, well, you know what, I'll tell you something. Maybe, maybe a button cam will work. I uh, appreciate your help. Love the enthusiasm, yeah. but I don't go undercover. That's not how I go. <laughs> Look, kid. <laughs> huh? Now, I hired you because you're a pit bull and because evangelicals are on the ropes. Now, we are going to deal them a blow and collect the prize money. Now, there's nothing wrong with cashing in on public opinion, now, is there? No. I'm in the business of exposing the truth to the public. Yeah. But... I do it with people's consent. Come again? This I can't do. Oh. Listen, buddy. I'm the one who gave you a second chance when Hollywood wouldn't. And you know it. This is the only play you have, so come on. I'll figure something out. You're gonna have to find somebody else to direct this. Good luck to you. You're under contract, cowboy. See you tomorrow. I didn't hear you pull up. I am on a roll. I'm almost done in here. I don't pay attention to the living room. It's a disaster. But this place is actually going to look pretty cute once I get it all finished. I still can't find my French press. But I know it's somewhere here. We're not staying. Just... <laughs> Very funny. Listen, sweetie, 
Uh, do you want your juicer out on the countertop, or can I put it under the cupboard? I'm so serious. We're not staying. We're leaving. We're getting out of here. We're packing whoa. it up. We're going back to California. Whoa, 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 whoa. Slow down there, Sparky. What's going on? The film, this job, it's, it's, it's not what I thought it was. It's not a documentary about Christianity? It is that. that it's, that's the subject, but it's not a documentary. It's a muckrake. What does that even mean? You know, like, he wants me to wear spy cameras and, and, and trick people and lie, and I, that's not my bag, baby. I'm not doing it. Daddy, 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 daddy. Hey there. <laughs> hey, choo-choo, what's up? Daddy, I've got my room all um, cleaned up, and I even left a little space for a bunny cage. Oh, that's great, choo-choo. Wow. Come on. OK, daddy, daddy will be there in a second. Okay. Please tell me this isn't happening. All right, I, I made a huge mistake, and I'm sorry, but I'm gonna fix it. Let's just bail before I get us into a much bigger mess. Is he going to reimburse us for the move, at least? I, I'm not even gonna ask him. Babe, have you checked the bank account today? No. Scotty, we're broke. Expecting someone? No. Hi, Scott. Hi. Ballard wanted me to drop these by. Oh, wow. Thanks. Hi, Mary. I'm Heather. It's nice to meet you. Hi, Heather. Hey, let me know if you guys need any help as you unpack and settle in. OK. OK? Thanks. Have a great day, you guys. Thank you. Moving expenses. There's two. What's this one? Letter. Scott, I think we got off on the wrong foot. Before you make any big decisions, will you and your lovely bride join me for dinner? Holy crap. P.S. I know a signing bonus wasn't part of the contract, but I think you deserve it. Hopefully it'll come in handy. 10 grand. Mm. 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 My god, I love this place. Mm. I hear a few times a week. I can eat all the deep fried food I want. <laughs> My cholesterol's perfect, Mary. No, it is. Doc says I'm, it's some kind of dumb genetic luck. I don't know. I do know that most men my age they have to eat like a rabbit or they take pills and make them feel so miserable <laughs> that they're praying to have the heart attack that they're trying to prevent. <laughs> Mom, did he say he eats rabbits? No, baby, he doesn't eat rabbits. <clears throat> Okay, okay, let's talk turkey. Okay. Yeah, um, listen, Ballard, I hate that this thing is ending before it started, but you gotta admit, you pulled the rug out from under me earlier. You're absolutely right, kid, you're right. He's right, Mary. I mean, we had a misunderstanding, and for that, I apologize. I do, but I just got so excited, I guess, about this project and about the talented guy running it, I guess I got a little too eager. Mm. I get it. You don't want to be known as a biased hack. Again. Hey, come on. Well, you can't. He can't. I'm just not going to trick people to suit your agenda. Does Michael Moore, the Oscar winner, have an agenda? I'm not Michael Moore. Of course not. You're our Scott Cooper, man. Now, let me ask you. Are Christians hypocrites? Are they hateful? That's maybe what the public thinks. We don't know, do we? You have to get in there. You have to show us why the public would think that. I don't know, maybe they'll prove us wrong. OK, yeah, I like that. That's not how you put it earlier. That was a miscommunication, man. We're past that. We're here to make a movie about the dwindling influence of Christianity in America. I mean, that is a stat, that is a fact, and no one can deny that premise. All you have to do is let them show you why their influence is shrinking. Does that sound like an agenda-driven piece to you, Mary? I don't know, I, I guess not. What about all the spy gear? Well, if you can't go undercover to find the truth, well, then I guess I have to find another director. Right, no, wait, you, you two didn't cash that check now, did you? No. That's great. Look, you two, you talk it over, you spend some time. 
Okay, we'll chat in a couple of days. If you're in, great. If not, just return the checks, both of them, and we could part as friends. God, yes. Okay, high five. <laughs> She's beautiful, just like her mommy. Daddy, can we go get my bun now? Sweetie, now's not a good time. Can we at least get some ice cream? And a LaCroix, maybe? Let's see what you did there. Well played. <laughs> we really shouldn't. We're getting her some ice cream. Daddy wants some ice cream. Okay. Mommy wants some ice cream? Mommy wants some ice cream. <laughs> Mommy wants a chocolate sundae. I want strawberry. Hey, what's your story, Morning Glory? Hey, Ballard. I'm in. Stop. I thought you'd be happier. Oh, no. No, oh, it's good. Good, Scott. Thanks. That's a great decision. Look, here's the deal. We're going to set up a meeting. The girl named Corey Crowder, she's your field producer. She grew up a Bible thumping missionary's kid, and she's, she's on sabbatical or something now. Ah, an insider. That's right. Yeah, set it up. Done. Later. OK, Casey. Flea bags and runs. <laughs> I'm sorry? No, I get it. I get a new house, a new puppy for the youngin. But you don't want any of these mutts in here, man. Doesn't even look like a dog. Oh, you're my new neighbor. No, I, I like dogs just fine. I, I used to walk Miss Tawny's old blue tick coon down. <laughs> she, uh, she lived in y'all's house before you moved in there. Miss Tawny. Okay. Yeah, she died about a month ago. Bless her heart. Mm. Yeah. Choked to death on a peppermint <laughs> and dropped dead right in there on your kitchen floor. <laughs> yeah. Of all the things to eat. <laughs> I found it about a week later. Uh, I mean, the smell was like here and then like a, like a dead bear on my face. Name's Billy. Scott. Yeah, huh? Scott Cooper. Cooter. Cooper. Mmm. Well, buddy, it's good meeting you. I reckon I'd get these rabbits home before they thaw me. <laughs> Start jumping away. <laughs> Gotta shoot them again, you know. <laughs> well, hey, neighbor, yeah. we'll, we'll catch up sometime. Okay. We'll, we'll have a hoot. I'm looking forward to it, buddy. Right. Woo! Woo! I thought I told you to no fun having while I'm at work. Daddy. And you're home early. Did you, uh, <clears throat> mm-hmm, maybe. No, I just thought I'd bring home some lunch. Is this peanut butter and jelly? Not exactly. You don't like carrots? No. Do you know who would like carrots? Mommy? Any ideas? I might have some. <gasps> A bunny! <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, okay, okay. Calm down, sweetie. Calm down. You gotta grab his feet right here, okay? Oh, very good, honey. Do you love her? She looks just like she did in my dreams, Mommy. Oh, honey. Her name is Pepper. I love you, Pepper. Oh, That's Pepper? a great name. Can I hold Pepper? Oh, she's a sweet bunny. Why am I wet? Looks like Pepper's a beer. <laughs> Pepper. <laughs> Oh, no, no, no. That young lady took care of it for you. She did. She did. Thank you. Have a good one. 
Corey. Yep, that's me. <laughs> this must be my field producer. That's yes, nice to meet you. That's so kind. Thank you. You didn't oh, have yeah, to do that. Oh yeah, no, of course, no problem. Tis better to give than to receive. Ah, uh, Acts 2023 20, or yep. 30, 30 something. 30 something. That's I knew so, that. No, you didn't. <laughs> no, I didn't. So I watched Mom's Basement. I have to say you're pretty funny. Thanks. Also a little uh, vicious, which is probably why Ballard likes you. I also got you a gift. Happy first day of work. Ooh. That's a lot of words. That is a lot of words. So what's this about you going on sabbatical? Ballard keeps using that word sabbatical. I'm not, I'm not on sabbatical. I don't know, I feel like coming back to the States, it seemed like everything was, the church included, was tainted by abundance or something. And I don't know, I, and I'm just, I'm so over this rock and roll, Jesus stage and light show thing. It's, it's not my thing. Huh. Uh, well, let's talk about background. Do you have any church experience? Not recently. Uh, but growing up, my mom's side of the family tried to administer religion like a suppository. Boy, as long as you and your mama are under my roof, it's my Christian duty to make you understand why you gotta get saved. You ever heard of hell? Here, take this lighter. Now light it. Now hold that flame under your hand for a minute. Go on, boy. Yeah, it hurts, don't it? Now, imagine that over every square inch of your body, and not just for a quick second, but for eternity. Now, stay here and think about that for a while. Your Aunt Marge is out of smokes. And then there was the time my mom left me at my grandmother's house for like a week. She kept the house almost completely dark all day, just sat there watching PBS. Oh, yes, Jesus, yes. Yes, Jesus, yes, Jesus, Jesus. Oh, my sweet Jesus. Bless this chicken. Jesus, yes. So they just give us protein we need, dear Lord, for the energy that we can have to just bless your name, Jesus. We ask that you just bless this corn, Jesus, yes, my sweet. Yes, Jesus. Please, Jesus, just save this boy from the demons that live deep inside of him. And then there was my freshman year of college when I learned that Christian kindness comes with ulterior motives. Time. New record. Yeah. yeah. I'm telling you, I killed Sam's record. Two boxes, awesome. two minutes? Are you kidding me? No yeah. one's gonna beat that. that no so one's gonna beat fun. that. You're pretty cool. Yeah, I know. So, um, I've been wanting to ask you a question. Oh, yeah? Uh, oh, I'm so sorry. Um, I was actually just wondering if you had found a church home yet. Church home? Yeah, we have this amazing Young Life program, and I think you'd get a lot out of it. Not what I wanted out of it. I'm sorry? Nothing. Nothing. Well, hey, honey. This is my uh, friend Scott I was telling you about. Scott, this is my fiance, Jason. Hey, it's great to meet you, Scott. Likewise. I was just telling him about Young Life. Oh, yeah, man, you should uh, join us sometime. Yeah, definitely. This Thursday, maybe? Yeah, Thursday. Can't wait. Yeah, awesome. We'll see you there. Sounds like she wasn't the only one with ulterior motives, if you ask me. I was 19, I had hormones, what do you expect? Mm, she was a believer, she has the Great Commission, what do you expect? Hmm. All right, so how do I speak like a Christian? Like, what's your elevator pitch? Elevator pitch, um... Yeah. Oh, I got an idea. Lay this down, this will really help. Perfect, action. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay, so we're all sinners, right? Um, and since, since Adam and Eve got together and made the forbidden fruit salad, um, no matter how hard we try to be close to God, um, to obey His law, literally none of us can earn our way into His grace. So that's why God sacrificed His Son. Jesus. Jesus, good. Um, and He showed us a new path to God, a path, the only real path to God through Him. Now this right here, this is the part that I don't think gets enough attention ever. He also showed us 
how, how to live and to love and not just how to get our tickets punched to heaven. Yeah, so I, I've always relied on the fact that if I wholeheartedly follow him, I'll reject sin and embrace love. And that's true peace, true and pure grace. It comes from God through us to others. I've never heard it put like that. Really? Simple. And you're cool putting your people under the spotlight? Yeah. Never hurts to show Don Quixote a mirror. Hmm. All right. What about you? Why are you doing this? Let's just say I have a rabbit to feed. <laughs> Babe, have you seen my French press? Huh? Oh, never mind. You know, I think I'm going to go by my first name. You want me to call you Roman? Might as well embrace the undercover gig. Plus, Roman sounds more churchy. I think you're overdoing it a little bit. Hey, this is the South. This is called wearing your Sunday best. <laughs> Plus, I think it looks a little bit Don Draper. <laughs> oh, you look like a Mormon. <laughs> I think you look hot. <laughs> Nice to meet you. Roman Cooper. Good morning, good morning. Open your Bibles to John chapter 13. And we'll be looking at verses 34 and 35 today, where Jesus says, A new command I give you, that you love one another. As I have loved you, you should love one another. By this, all men will know you are my disciples. That's why it's so important for us to be connected to like-minded believers doing life together, loving one another, sharing with one another, crying together, laughing together. The was together. made up of Latin American students, and we had a young man from Guatemala named Manuel. We called him Manny, who actually had been playing since his holy Jesus. name. Jesus, amen. You're dismissed. Even if I'd stayed awake, I'm just not gonna get anywhere in big church. <laughs> I need to find a way to pull back the curtain. You know, we should get you guys in a small group. What's that? The pastor was talking about a small group open house they're having in a couple of weeks, actually. Had you stayed awake, you would know. A small group is where a bunch of people get together once a week to do Bible study, and I think he said do life together. And they're forming all the new groups in a couple of weeks. Mm. Almost like it was meant to be. Yeah, we was lucky. This wasn't luck, Vincent. This was divine intervention. You know, I have a friend, Julie. Um, her and her husband, they just joined this, this small group at their church. And maybe I could, I could talk to her, see if you guys could tag along, get your feet wet before you find a group of your own. Sign us up. OK. Awesome. Scott? Yeah, babe? Come here. What? Yep. <sighs> How did you know you even I'm, needed a test? I'm late. And you're taking the pills? Yeah, so I've been taking the pills, Scott. <sighs> Other people get to be excited about this moment. Okay. Let's just start over and choose to think positively. Easy for you to say. 
That's not fair. I'm sorry. Look, you, we will be fine. a thing or two going on there, don't we? Yeah. Mm, I still can't find my French press. Daddy! Chief. Hey, how's that new puppy? Oh, uh, we got a rabbit. Oh, that's a great name, buddy. That's good. It's a different species. Hey, do you do much shooting? I played some laser tag. I was thinking you ought to come out to the range with us in the morning. Me and the guys got us some of those uh, Obama bin Laden targets. We're going to rip up at 150 yards. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> come on, man. It's Osama bin Laden. <laughs> what are you talking about? How about a rain check? How about that? That's my shoe. Yeah, that'll work, that'll work. Um, but 223's about to get scarce. You gotta get some way you can. No idea what that is. Mm. I'm trying to take out this trash. So mm. If I could just, if the, I'm, oh, I'm, oh, I got oh yeah, the, yeah, hey, I got you, I got you, oh, okay. okay. I'll call you up, all, all right. right? I got you down. We are gonna get Daryl. Daryl! Hey, what you doing in the morning, buddy? I got two up and going. He's totally in some crazy right-wing militia, isn't he? Oh, totally. What's a chicken wing, Melissa? It's a rooster army. <laughs> Still in the French press hunt? Yes. I know we're a single-income family now, but I can buy you a new one. No, I have had that one since college. I don't want a new French press. I want my French press. All right. Corey, my assistant. What's up? Hey, so you're good to go in the small group? Awesome, sweet, that was quick, thank you. You still good to hang out with Casey? Yes, you're gonna have to find a real sitter next time though, Dad. Spoonful of sugar, Ms. Poppins. Okay, just so you know, small groups can be a little awkward while people are, you know, getting to know each other. Can I help you? With uh, Cooper's for the small group. Oh, right, 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 come on in. Thanks. How's your week? It's good. Yours? Good. Work? No, no, no. It's good. It's good. What about you? How's your week? Good. Good. And you're probably gonna want to warn Mary about the super moms. She's been getting up every hour and a half. I don't think mm. I've slept since April. No, oh, that's so tough. Yeah, it's horrible. You know, when our baby was just two days old, we prayed over her, and she has slept through the night ever since. <laughs> I mean, what a miracle. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you ever been in a small group? Um, well, uh... I was at the, um... Like a church, small group. No, no. Ever? We have a daughter. Oh, okay. And just the one so far? Okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. We'll have you with one. Okay. Yeah. Are you okay? Every, I mean, it, you know. I did some hand gliding in Topanga, and that was a pretty small group of people. That's a small group. Yeah. Anybody die? Yeah. Yeah, I got, yeah there was a guy that died. Hmm. Went to heaven, I guess. Probably. Was he in a small group? Uh, not in the religious sense. Oh, he didn't make it. And you're almost always guaranteed to have somebody who wants to share. I can just feel the energy of the Holy Spirit just working its way through us. I know we don't all know each other you know, that well, but I can just tell we're all gonna be best friends, Sam. Scott. Scott. 
And if you're lucky, you'll have one of those superhero Christians in your group. So we just put our house on the market. Uh, we feel like we've already led everyone to Christ in our neighborhood. So uh, we want to go to the inner city so uh, we can reach more people there. And then there are the prayer requests. I have an unspoken. Unspoken. We have two, That's three. three, three unspokens. We have an unspoken praise. So my grandmother on my mom's side has a neighbor whose cat has a tumma. <laughs> um, so if you would just uh, pray for Shirley, the cat. I've got this rash. <sighs> wow, I'm getting nowhere. How am I gonna get these people to open up? You know, show me some truth, because if I don't, this thing crashes and burns. Okay, good talk. I'm gonna go have a PB and J. Here she is. <laughs> Casey, this is our new friend Lydia. She's gonna hang out with you for a little while while mom and daddy go out. Okay? Papa doesn't want you to go. She'll be scared. You know what, Casey? I think Pepper's really cute. Daddy says she's a peer. <laughs> hey, did you know we're neighbors? I live four houses that way. You do? Yeah. Wanna go see my room? Yeah, I'd love to. Thanks, Lydia. We'll be back in a couple of hours. How's it going, thank man? Thank you. All right, thank you. Oh, there's so I know this guy. Mm -hmm. Hey, man. Oh, hey, buddy. I'm Chaz. <laughs> I know, Roman Cooper. Yeah, yeah, you're welcome. Ethan! Do you really know him? Pretty sure. Oh. I know him. Hey. Hi. Um, do you offer child care services? Yes, we have great information on the kiosk. Thank you. You're welcome. Excuse me, brother. You know, I didn't read that either. Don't worry about it. What's that? The, the brochure or the pamphlet or the oh. email. I didn't read any of them. Oh, yeah, no, me neither. I was just looking at the pictures. <laughs> Honestly, I never learned how to read. Really? Yeah, it's kind of embarrassing. No, I would be embarrassed by that. No doubt at all. <laughs> yeah. Did ride the short bus to school, but I at least learned to read. At a second grade level, they tell me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I quit. You win. You know, unfortunately, I always win at Awkward Chicken. Yeah, it shouldn't have gone there, but sorry, Lord. But anyway, yeah. Roman. Shane, good to meet Roman, huh? Yeah. So you guys should definitely come sit with us. I'd love to, yeah. Is this the lovely lady? This is her. I'm Shane, how are you? Mary, nice to meet you. Good to meet, she's even better looking than you are. <laughs> we get that all the time. So listen, I was just telling Roman, uh, we got an empty couple of seats at our table. Uh, we had a couple who, they're not with us anymore. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. No, no, they didn't die, they, they moved to Gainesville, Florida. So they're basically dead to me, of course, but uh, no, empty chairs, come join us. Sure. Definitely. Yeah. Awesome. Let's do it. Let's do it, come on. <laughs> We're a little late though, so we're gonna eat. Jason, what's up, man? Good to see you, brother. Hey. Hey, guys. Oh, yeah. This is probably the best looking small group I've seen. This is gonna work. I like it. Oh, we're over here. Let's go. All right, if I can get everybody's attention, I know you're excited to get into some fellowship <laughs> there in your new small group. Psalm 5514 says, It was good when we walked together to the house of God. We wanna encourage you to walk together, pray together, do life together. Well, that's enough preaching. Let's break the ice. Okay, well, I'm excited, everybody. I know it can be a lot of pressure sitting at a table full of people you kind of know or barely know or don't know at all. You talking about us? I know this guy real well. We're best for He's coming over to help me move on Saturday. Shane. Oh. I, I forgot. I sold the house. I don't blame you, homies. Right? <laughs> I told y'all when y'all bought that place, it was way too small. There they go. Please don't listen to anything that they say. Duly noted. <laughs> okay. Well, before we start having too much fun, maybe we should go around the table and introduce ourselves. Okay. Honey, you want to start? Okay. Hi, I'm Emily, Kenny's wife. We have three kids together, and we look forward to going on an adventure with all of you. I look forward to going on an adventure with you too, Emily. Thank you, Shane. Absolutely. I got an adventure hat. Did you see it? Mm -hmm. a little satchel. Oh boy, Shane. Little Chinese boy that goes. Doctor Jones. Oh gosh, no? Shane, no, please. I shouldn't do that because mm -mm. she's Asian. Sorry. 
Okay. Sorry. It's your turn. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, you know, I'm going to go ahead and go. My bad. I'm, I'm, I'm Shane Baxter. Uh, I am uh, 38 years old. I'm a Pisces. Uh, this is my wife, Emily. I'm um, definitely not his wife. No. <laughs> I'm his wife. I'm Elise. She, I get that mixed up quite often. We have uh, two beautiful kids. Three. The third Three. one, though. You think he's beautiful? <laughs> They're all beautiful. In the eyes of God. Yes. I don't even know if it's mine, to be quite honest with you. Okay, Hoss, you done. You done. Okay. Hey, everybody. My name is Robert. I used to play pro ball. Go, Pack, go. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm a middle school PE teacher, and I coach football, and I am married to the love of my life, Miss Monica. I should have said that. <laughs> hey, y'all. I'm Monica, and I'm just really excited about this group. Well, I'm Deke. And this is my lovely wife, Rebecca. Um, and it's my mission in life to follow Jesus to the best of my ability and to lead as many people to him as possible. Amen. 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 Thanks, Deke. So since we're not going in any particular order, let's hear from Shane's new friends. <clears throat> OK, uh, I'm Roman Cooper. And this is my awesome wife, Mary. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> hey. Um, more. I, I run a, 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 a one-man production company. Nothing super fancy, just promo stuff, and uh, really excited to be a part of this. Roman, though. You look like a coop. I'm going to call you coop. Can we call you coop? Roman sounds more biblical, right? Yeah, right? I say we call him Romy. Romy. My homie Romy. My homie Romy. I can't just change his name. Let's stick with Coop. Kenny, we good with Coop? Coop it is. Coop. Gavel. Coop. Okay, who wants to go next? Yeah! Hey, darling, how you doing? <laughs> yeah! Oh! Hey, buddy! Hey, wait a minute! Hey, hold up one minute! Hey, buddy, you don't mind, do you, Chief? Okay! Woo! Hey, rev that sucker up, man! Let's go before he invites us to Redneck Small Group. <laughs> Slow down, sweetie. Tell me what happened. She's not in her cage or in my closet. Somebody took her. Come inside. Come hey, no, inside. I'm Come sure see. Her. No, somebody took her. Listen, sweetie. Daddy and I have to go, so we'll go to the grocery store on our way back, okay? And we'll pick up some carrots. Mm -hmm. And then we'll put them out in the yard. And then Pepper will come back to eat them. Okay, okay honey. We'll be back soon. Hey, Casey, do you want to show me your Barbie house? I guess. Come on, let's go see it. Shiny, you just crawling up on him. Bam! Yeah. Think Billy eats rabbits? <laughs> Come on, let's go. Hey, guys. Hi, Dr. Hines. Hey. So, how's everything? Well, you are definitely pregnant. I am. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> how's the baby? Well, so far, so good. The tests look fine. That's great. <laughs> so, the questionnaire says this is your second pregnancy, and your first baby was born premature. Um, so, everything was fine up until 31 weeks. I was at work, started having stabbing pains, so I went straight to the hospital, and Casey was born later that night. They said I had a shortened cervix. So, we'll definitely keep our eye on it. What are the chances that would happen again? It's a concern further on down the road, but right now, you guys have a healthy, growing baby. <laughs> That's great. May I'm sorry. I'm look. sorry. It doesn't mean it's going to happen again. Mm -hmm. Okay? Uh, I'm just scared, you know? Well, you know, we don't have to move forward with pregnancy. How could you even suggest that? I'm just saying that I don't like to see you in pain, and we have options at this time, at this moment, right now. For... Oh. Look at that. To take it back, Scott. I take it back. I take it way back. 
I'm sorry. Now will you look at this? Look at that swaddled little wet monkey. We could have another little choo-choo like that. Another little baby to cuddle every single day. Another eight to ten poop diapers to take care of every single day. <laughs> Are we... I don't know, stepping on sacred ground or something? What do you mean exactly? In the small group. You think we're creating bad karma? No, of course not. One has nothing to do with the other. Sister Christian, this is a mansion. What did Shane say he does for a living? He owns a gutter company, but she made the money. Sugar mama. Apparently she invented something and took it on that lion's den show. Huh. Got a big deal. What was it? Some kind of spy glasses, I think. Are you serious? Yeah, I think that's what, what she said. How, did, how long have you known this? I don't know what you're going to do. Relax. I'm kidding. She didn't say. Sometimes you're <laughs> just Stop. funny, aren't you? Hey, guys, hey. the Coopers are here. Hey, I was wondering if we scared you off the other night. Oh, no. What's going on, man? How are you? Hey, man, good. Good to Sorry see you. Sorry to sit around late, man. No, it's OK. It's a rookie mistake. We're going to let it slide this once. So, Kenny, just get over here and be a leader. Come hey, on, Scott. What's the frequency, Kenneth? Uh, good, good to see you again. Yes, sir. Coop, what's up, man? Hey, Deke. Deke. That's right. Yeah. What's your last name? Kailani. That's, what does that mean exactly? Uh, buried pig. Cause you're Hawaiian. I'm just joking, <laughs> I don't know what it means. <laughs> okay. So, you ready to small group? Yeah, we're, we're excited, but we don't know what to expect. Well, you know, Rebecca and I, we've been part of three small groups over the years. Uh-huh. You want a good balance of fellowship and fun and time in the word. Time in the word. Something tells me we'll have no shortage of levity, though. Oh. I'm fine. I'm good. I'm not fine. Help me up, Rob. Oh, she's famous. No, I am what? not famous. Have you ever worn a pair of Yads? Oh, I thought I recognized mm -hmm. you. I totally saw you on the Lion's Den show. Told you she was famous. No, mm -hmm. we are very blessed that the product has become famous. You know, yoga all day. for allowing us this opportunity to come together with a group of believers to study your word and just grow closer to each other and to you. In Christ's holy name we pray, amen. 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 Well, tonight I thought it would be appropriate for us to introduce ourselves spiritually. How did we come to know Jesus? All right, so uh, who wants to start? I'll go. You sure you're not too shy? Kenny, I'm, I'm trying to be serious. If you could just, all right, please. Please. Yeah, so I didn't grow up in church. Um, I was the typical college frat rat. You know, existed on beer and chicken wings. I, I don't apologize for the chicken wings. Have you had the chicken wings at Locos? Yes. Amen. Oh, uh, yes. I spent way too much time in bars shooting bourbon and chasing girls. And I think they were afraid of my natural charm and beauty. I'm sure that was it. I didn't scare you, though. And that's <laughs> oh, yes, point. you did. I didn't scare you off. Best thing that ever happened to me, because after we get married, God brought someone close to us who I think we both needed at the time. Someone who lived with, how do we say it, like a peace? Yeah, he's talking about my cousin Sam. He's a missionary. I asked Sam, you know, because there's something just different about him. I'm like, dude, what is it about you? And he just says, buddy, it's Jesus. We talked for like three hours that night about that. And under normal circumstances, any other night, I'm not gonna have that conversation. I was, you know, above it. But for some reason that night, you know, God opened my heart. And uh, we prayed at the end of it. And um, I, I gave my life to Jesus. It's been, uh, been a free man ever since. Amen. 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 I've actually met Sam, and he is a humble servant of God. 
terrible singer, though. I mean, dude couldn't carry a tune in an iPod. We all have our faults, Shane. Well, let's do something a little bold now. Um, instead of delaying the inevitable, I think that uh, maybe we should ask our small group rookies here to share their spiritual journey with us. So, uh, Roman, oh, I'm sorry, Coop, would you like to start? Sure. Yeah, okay. Well, you know, I grew up in a pretty religious family. I went to church almost every Sunday. Uh, I was saved when I was nine years old. And uh, as far as my relationship with Jesus now, I, uh... <clears throat> I've always just relied on the fact that if I follow him wholeheartedly, I will reject sin and embrace love, pure and true grace. They flow from God through us to others. Coop, that was beautifully said, man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Amen. Oh, you like those? I took those. Yeah, I had no idea you were such a fine photographer. No, I, I took them from an old lady. She was blind. I, sorry, Lord. Get out of my house. It's kind of weird that you're lingering. Well, your place is like a museum, man. Okay, um, I wanted to show you this video. So what do you think of Christians? Yeah, how about this? <clears throat> Jesus was quite fond of the parable. And believe it or not, I am quite fond of Jesus. So why don't I just tell you one of my own, okay? There was once a little girl, shy and brittle, but so full of love. One morning she woke up and she realized she was in a cage. What kind of a lonely, sad place is that for a little girl? Over time she began to realize that she held the key in her precious little hand and all she had to do was unlock the door and walk right out. But cages are funny things. They keep you in, and they make you afraid of getting out. So she stayed. She stayed because she was so scared to death if she ever escaped, someone would see her. Now, like all ugly little ducklings, <laughs> she became the beautiful woman you now see before you today. <laughs> She got out and she sang. Now, the blessed souls whom you asked me about, they hold the key to the pearly gates. <clears throat> but the only way she can know Jesus, they say, is for her to get back into that cage. They want her to go right back in and they want to shove her in the corner. <laughs> Let me tell you. Nobody puts baby in the corner. I told you, he, she was a character. God, I love dirty dancing. Me too, me too. <laughs> yeah, now where everybody goes to church, that mean not the demon, deacon. We're a local band. Uh, we're gonna be playing next Thursday at the Loading Docks at Winn-Dixie. Y'all come on out. Too much. Shane would love Beelzebubba. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta invite this guy to a small group. What's up? You cool? Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> All right. Such a person's praise is not from other people, but from God. Romans chapters one and two. Thanks, Deke. So there's a lot going on in these first two chapters, aren't there? You've got Paul, who once he gets past his greetings, goes into a discussion about all the sinful things that can incite God's wrath. But then in chapter two, he turns the tables a little bit. Anybody know what he does? I do. Yeah. My granny told me about this years ago in chapter one, when Paul was like, I done told y'all about doing that stuff. Mm-hmm. It makes the Lord very, very angry. <laughs> Paul came along in chapter two and yank that rug right from up under them saying, don't be thinking because you doing good that you better than them folks who ain't. 
No siree, don't you do it. That's exactly how it sounded in aromatic. Aramaic. In Aramaic. I like your granny. <laughs> Shane, if you don't mind, I have a question for the group. I, I noticed here on uh, chapter two, verse one, it says, therefore you have no excuse, O man, whoever you are, when you judge another for in passing judgment upon him, you condemn yourself. You know, why, why is it that we as Christians are so obsessed with, with judgment? You're right, Coop. We, we're all sinners. Scripture makes it very clear that it's not our job to cast stones. We are to love just as Christ loved. But some may make the claim that, you know, we're not to judge sin itself, right? That anything goes. That's just plain moral relativism. And there's no scriptural justification for that. The way I read it, Paul says that sins are toxins and we're to be cleansed by the blood of Christ and view others through a prism of love and kindness rather than as personifications of their sins. Beautifully said, Deke. In fact, he said it way better than you did. I agree. Kenny, you're off the throne. <laughs> Deke, it's your, your show now, brother. I second that emotion. Uh, Kenny, you're the big kahuna, bro. Kenny, I think you're, we're going to have to kick you out of the group. You're not out of the group. No? No. OK, so with the time we have left, I think we should talk about the details of Shane and Robert's big uh, trip they got coming up, the guys' weekend. Yeah, mm -hmm. right. You see, they have these latches on the side, so when you're done doing yoga or just laying around the house and you want to go out in public, uh -huh. you just take a skirt, latch it onto your pants, and voila! Yoga all day. Oh, wow. Lisa's pretty clever, huh? Can't believe I haven't figured that out. Well, what's wrong? I'm starting to feel guilty. Oh, don't. I think that Ballard may actually have a point. I mean, you've seen the way Shane pops off. Like you pop off? Well, okay, but I'm not the one claiming moral superiority here. Is Shane? Yeah, actually, we were in the kitchen. And he claimed moral superiority. <laughs> I mean, he's probably joking, but we don't know. We're fine, look. Everything's cool. Okay. And we gotta do what we gotta do, okay? Plus, we got rabbit problems right now. There's an oak tree, an oak tree outside in my yard. I like to sit under the oak tree. Breaks my heart. Sad. <sighs> hey, maybe this will work. Okay, got your tent? Check. Video gear? Check. Spy glasses? No idea what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. Bible? Uh, I think it's... Ah, please, no! You wanted me to touch it. What? Daddy, I don't like snakes. I mean, I saw her out here playing. I figured kids like pets, so I thought I'd bring Ralph over to meet her. Billy, please take that thing away. Oh, he ain't gonna hurt nothing. He eats rabbits, you know, <laughs> not not little girls. <laughs> Billy, can you just take Ralph back over to your house? Please? Yeah, man, of course. Man, I truly did not mean to scare her. I'm, I'm so sorry. Honest mistake. My bad. It's okay. Coop! Whoa, Coop! Is that you, Shane? Oh, yeah. Are you handling snakes now? We're Pentecostals now. <laughs> yeah, that's not the way we roll. Come on, let's go camping, come All right, on. Okay, be right there. Man, what kind of household are you running? I think Ralph ate pepper. <gasps> God, I bet you're right. Listen, honey, you go on. I got this, all right? Don't worry about it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you good to go with the button shirt and everything? I got it inside, ready to go. Cool. <sighs> Things you do for me. Yeah. Okay. You okay, sweetie? Okay, all right. You need ballet service? I'll be right there, Shane. Good as just put his bags on the back of the snake. Hey, man, pull up to this hardware store for a minute. I want to grab some kerosene. For what? I like to sniff it, get high. I like to geek up, pass out, and pee myself. You know, it's not a party until somebody huffs some gas and wets themselves. <laughs> I've seen him do it. 
Nah, fellas, it's for my lantern. You should consider a solar-powered lantern. It's the way of the future. Hey, I'm with Rob. Let's pull in for a minute. I need to pick up a hatchet. Are you gonna take us out to the middle of nowhere and hack us up there, Kenny? If I get hungry enough. <laughs> Stay at home, Daddy, then finally lost it. Yeah. He lasted a lot longer than I would in his shoes. Can't trust that pretty smile. Kenny, you're out of the group. Kicking you out. Again? Yeah. I come through cocky, doing my thing. Hat low, rim over my nose. Tim's cover my toes. Pen, paper, I know it's hard to believe. It's the talent God gave me, son. I'm thankful to he. Casey Ray, how are you today? Good, thank you. Good, good. good. No, I got it. Good. No, no, you don't have to do that. I got it. Dude, you bought the chainsaw for the last guy. We... All right. Uh, that'll be 90.83. Sure. Hey, thanks, man. Absolutely. Anything for you, brother. Here's your receipt. But that actually worked? Huh? The card, it went through? Uh, yes, sir. Huh. I guess no one's reported Shane Baxter missing yet. Won't be a problem much longer. We're gonna go kill him. Have a blessed day. Thank you, man. We're actually a church group. Hi. Can I see your receipt, sir? Sure. Oh, uh, you on your own now, hoss. Guys, guys. Shane Baxter Jr., that is not what we do with bubbles. He's just like his father. You should absolutely do it. Do you think it would fly around here? Oh, definitely. Mm -hmm. Do it, sister. Are we still talking about the yoga studio? Yeah. Mary, if that is the direction that God is taking you, go for it. In fact, I know a great commercial agent I can introduce you to. Are you talking about John? John is fabulous. He looks like he's 12 years old, <laughs> but he's great. Maybe. Okay. Maybe. When the time is right. <laughs> Elise, you could maybe even open a Yad store at Mary's studio. You know, that's not a bad idea. Really? <laughs> I would love that. <laughs> I'm so jealous of you two. I just don't think I would have the guts to open my own business. But sure, I'll be your first member. <laughs> that would be good. Thank you. And if I get back into shape, maybe I can finally get Robert to start working on his back. Oh. Of course, if Robert goes, then Shane's going to want to go. I don't know that we want Shane doing the downward dog. <laughs> what you doing over there, making pencils? Oh, man, I'm making, uh... Spears for tiny zombies. <laughs> I infest these woods. What are you doing? Setting up a super sweet time lapse shot. I'm gonna throw it over there in that field. We'll see the sun go down, the night sky and constellations spin, and then the sun rise again. Like a slow mo kind of thing? No, like a time lapse. So if I were to like go, hoops dork, <laughs> in front of it, it would be like, hoops a dork. Oh, yeah. Like that. How's yeah. that lip, Holyfield? Nice one. Better than the big guy's ribs, I bet you. Probably. Yeah, but... What is that? What? What? This. Good grief. It's like industrial strength mechanics on this, brother. You are blind. Yeah. Dude, you should go see my LASIK guy. I got LASIK a couple years ago. Best decision I ever made. I'm gonna go make some more squirrel spears. We're gonna have dinner. Hang on. Close. You know, all three of mine went to Rocky Branch. Casey's gonna love it. That makes me feel a lot better, thank you. Yeah, our kids love Rocky Branch, so um, we decided to homeschool this year. Homeschool? Mm -hmm. How do you have time for that? Don't you run a huge company? Well, um... <laughs> she sold out to her boyfriend, and her husband signed off on it. That 
is not true. I, I still own the patent. I mean, we sold the production side, but not to, I, I, he's not, my, I don't. She gets all flustered when you mention Bob. The guy from the lion's den. Sweet Bobby Bob. <laughs> Mary is new to this group. She doesn't understand how you tease. I tease like her husband. That's why she loves me. Bob is a very dear friend of ours, both Shane and mine. And he went through such a hard time last year when his marriage ended, and I just, it makes it doubly inappropriate for you to. You're right, you're right, Lise, I'm sorry. I shouldn't be joking like that. Let it be known, we're all 100% committed to our marriages. Amen. Amen. And we're all blessed to be married to godly men. Yes, isn't that true? I am not a big sports fan. Uh, I like those DIY shows on HGTV. Oh, and Ellen. I could watch Ellen and just laugh the afternoon away. <laughs> okay, you got a man up. Uh, my wife's the sports fan. I, who does she like? She likes the dogs. Don't ask me which breed, I have no idea. <laughs> wow. It's cool. Yeah. yeah. Mary. Go ahead and get buckled up, sweetie. Hey. Hey, um, are you a coffee drinker? <laughs> Until I find my French press, I can't consider the sludge I have been drinking real coffee. But yeah. We should go have a coffee, just us. I would love that. I just figured since we were the newbies in the bunch and... Right. Gotta yeah. look out for each other. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll send you a text and I'll check my shift schedule at work. That sounds great. Awesome. Oh, <laughs> God bless. God bless you too. <laughs> oh no. Oh, come on, oh. man. You were way too close to the fire for that. <laughs> yeah. I backed off of the fire for that reason. Man, who invited you anyway? You did. You called me Thursday. Hey, Shane, take me camping. Let's yeah, go fishing. Hey, guys, I got something to show you. Follow. <sighs> God, Kenny. Follow me. We're going to go a hike at night. Just get up. Come on. I promise it'll be worth it. Man, I ain't walking in the dark without my lantern. No lights, man. Ooh, ooh. All right, I'm coming with you. <sighs> Guys, I just wanted to come out here. Stars in perfect view. And just pause. We live our busy lives, overwhelmed by the day by day. We get to come out here, clear our heads, and be humbled by the incomprehensible scope of God's creation. We're insignificant, yet for some reason, he loves us, individually. How can I be anything but grateful? Amen to that, my brother. Oh, come on, Shane. Not it. Not it. Um, it, and I got one more. Let there be light. My ham hooks have spoken, baby. <laughs> Me too. You got plenty, come on! <laughs> yeah, come on for a lot of light, and once owned by a young Keanu Reeves. Really? Yeah. Some more places, but uh, it was exciting. <laughs> best shakes in the world for the big man. Only the best for you, honey. What? No, it wasn't me.
date. Rob and Shane are gearing up for this overseas mission trip and they're good guys. I truly believe that they have pure intentions, but I just wonder if they're aware that these little church trips to someone on the outside of the church, they seem like they're little more than a photo op to show social media that you know, they're good Christians. Uh, I don't know. Now what do I do? Would you like to say a few nice things about Pepper? Dear God, please take care of Pepper if she's in heaven with you or still in Ralph's tummy. Pepper was a sweet rabbit and she likes to be held most of the time, but she will pee on you, so be careful. And at least take her out three times, four times a day. Amen. Amen. Robert, hey man, how you doing? Oh man, not too bad for a beat up old lineman with the spine of a 60 year old. <clears throat> you sound like you're in pain. Yeah, I'll live, but uh, I ain't gonna be getting on no airplane no time soon. What about your mission trip? Man, look it, I'm just hoping I can make it to the bathroom. Well, uh, I'm sorry to hear that, man. Let me know if there's anything I can do for you. Yeah, how about you go in my place? Me go to Guatemala? Four, five, four, senor. You my homie, Romy. I need you to do this. Why me? Look, man, get your video gear, get a little footage, put together a promo piece for the mission. It's all paid for, no problem. Okay, um... Listen, just pray on it. These oxycodone's kicking in, man, and um, I'm about to start slobbing, so uh, I'm gonna holler at you a little later, all right? God bless. Take care, man. <clears throat> Guatemala? Guatemala. It's gold. It's gold. Yeah. You're right. I mean, I'll have to postpone some interviews, but it will definitely bring a lot of production value to the documentary. And add perspective. Totally. Okay, here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna grab some footage of those kids digging for food out of a dump, and then you're gonna contrast that with these blessed bunch of do-gooders running up to those very same kids, handing them frickin' Bibles. Oh, this is... <laughs> Go! Go to Guatemala! You guys should come and stay with us while the boys are away. It's very tempting, but... Mm. Casey and I like to get some girl time anytime Scott leaves, you know? Scott? Uh, Roman. Oh. Scott's his middle name. Oh. So how is Casey handling the bunny situation? Pretty well. Good. Yeah. Does it make me a horrible person to admit that I actually enjoyed the memorial service? <laughs> no. Good, because I did. And she was adorable. I couldn't believe what a grown-up she was, you know? Yeah. She actually prayed. That was, took me off guard. Why? Well, you know, it's like such an adult thing to do. Mary, I've been thinking about something. Um, are you a believer? I mean, I go to a small group, I'm in this church. I mean, I'm just asking. It's not gonna change the way I feel about you. No. But please don't tell Roman. He doesn't know? No, he knows. He just wouldn't want me telling you, you know? No, I wouldn't. How do you feel about all this Jesus stuff? How do you feel? So God measures the integrity of our hearts by our compassion for the poor. Jesus came to save the least, the lost, the forgotten. These boys are his treasure. Not a thing to give your life to. Hey, babe, come check this out. Okay, I'm brushing my teeth. Babe. Oh, I sure I'm brushing my teeth. I said I'm brushing my teeth. Are you sure you're cool with me going to Guatemala? 
Why not? Oh, I don't know, new house. Somebody's gotta paint the back deck. Crazy redneck neighbor, who's gonna mow the lawn? A baby inside you? Don't worry so much, Daddy. She'll wait for you. She? I don't know. I just have a feeling, you know, Casey needs a sister. You're just gonna tell the truth, aren't you? About the group? I've just been thinking, you know, so long as you tell the truth, everything should be fine, right? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, oh, what did I just feel? Is that a kick? <laughs> just a hunger rumble. You'll know when it's a kick. Well, we got some peanut butter and pickles in there. Peanut butter and pickles, really? <laughs> I could go for some hummus, maybe. As you wish, milady. Coop. Hey, man. How's it going, brother? Good. Good. This looks good. You go see my guy. What? LASIK. You, you're not wearing your little nerd specs. Looks good. I like it. Oh, uh, it's, it's contacts. Yeah. Either way, either way, it works for me. I was afraid we we're gonna get beat up down there with your little professor look. Hey, I gotta talk to the pilot real quick. Have you guys met? Yeah. All right, be right back. Yeah, hey, man. Hey, buddy. Chaz. Really? Being serious? Yeah, I am. My name's actually Chaz. I'm Chaz, too. No way. Chaz, too? How have we never met? Bro, this is Chaz, too! Great, man. Yeah. Oh, we should immortalize this moment. Whoa, Hollywood. That's a nice rig, man. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> All right. Oh, Shane, I see you're really roughing it on this private jet on our way to the mission trip. Well, look, now, in all fairness, just for the record, this is uh, Rob's old team's owner's son's plane. They lend it to us. He's too big to fly commercial. No, listen, candidly, uh, we're about to spend a week in the filthy slums of Guatemala City, pretending to give a crap about all these little street kids. I feel like we owe it to ourselves to treat ourselves like royalty before we, you know, stoop beneath our station. But that was awful. I should never, <laughs> right? That was, that was terrible. At least I was, yeah. Sorry, Lord. Yeah, I laughed. Ooh, anyway, okay. cheers. I'm glad yeah. you laughed here. Yeah. Cheers. Uh, do you need me to hold that champagne for you? No, this is sparkling grape juice. You need no, no drinking on a mission trip, okay? But yeah, yeah, you can hold that for me. Seatbelts all buckled, everybody ready to go? Hey, There you go. Thank you so much. There he is. Heard a lot about you. All right. Misiles en contra de petroleros, barriles, tres civiles como el rapa mamos. No nos quebrantamos ante ambos piles que se crucen en nuestros carriles. ¡Aceleramos! Más era que lo que era, Illuminati controlando en donde sea. Mucha gente sin saberlo solo se pasea. Ya son víctimas del sello de la fiera. Tell me a little bit more about Engadi. Engadi's a boy center, right? And before you say anything, we're not ignoring the girls, man. The truth of the matter is, Coop, the girls aren't the problem around here, man. It's these boys, right? It's these boys who are growing up into angry young men who rape, who kill, who father babies. They have no intention of supporting, right? They're forcing these girls into prostitution and poverty. And Gotti's desire is to reach these boys at a young age, right? To love them, educate them, feed them to more importantly introduce them to the loving and saving grace of Jesus Christ. If we can do that, not only do we change the life of that boy, but we also change the life of every female he will ever meet. And that is the mission of Engadi Ministries. Oh, Guatemala. Full, no? Yeah. Yeah. All right. 
What do you say? We're going to the soccer field, Chaz. Hey, Coop, I got something you're gonna wanna see, man. Something I wanna sing. Amazing Grace, how bad you sound. He's pretty terrible. Check this out. Three, two, one. Huh? <laughs> Buenos dias, Carlos. Buenos dias, Senor Sam. Yeah. Boys here every day. What a sweet kid. That right there is the brightest smile in Zone 18, man. Mm. Is he an orphan? He lives with his sister whenever she's around. His older brother, Francisco, used to be one of our boys. Oh, I guess he. No, no, he's still alive. He's just out there running with some of those gangbangers. All right, if I get a quick shot of this. Get in there, man. <laughs> hey, look at this guy. Found it, bro. <laughs> Carlos, ¿puedes ir a comprar las frutas? What did you just say? He likes to run errands for us. Gracias. Vamos, vamos. Vamos me? You're going. <laughs> I'm going. <laughs> Excuse me, sorry guys. ¿Qué están haciendo? ¿Por qué no están trabajando? Si estamos trabajando. Ya saben lo que hey, Carlos, who is that uh, girl, uh, la mujer? Era mi hermana. Your sister. no es mi problema. Los clientes hay en todas partes. Pues estás muy equivocado. Hmm. Gracias, Carlos. <laughs> How was the uh, how was the field trip? Oh, you seen it, Shane. He was like weaving and bobbing, and I got some great shots. And and then there's this kid that like, I mean, he's a kid, but out there he's more. He's a man. I'm glad you were with him, though. Yeah, I guess. I don't think you'd have been safe out there by yourself. <laughs> I think you're right. No, Amber, you want an orange? Yeah, thanks. Your vitamin C replenished. Yo, Carlos, you got any more oranges? Not bad. Es necesario que yo te busque a diario por lo del calvario. Por eso te llamo y te sigo. Es necesario que yo te busque a diario por lo del calvario. Por eso te llamo y te sigo. Te llamo, te sigo. Both teams constantly working. Teams picking up trash all day, every day. We also have teams that come down and help us with projects like build this playset out of recycled tires. And that's why we're allowed into their communities. They know we're here to serve them, not save them. 
como siempre, como siempre, una, como siempre, una, como siempre, Carlito. <laughs> <laughs> There's your boy. Hey, man, what's up? Give me five. Well, what's he going in for? Okay. That was sneaky. That was good. I'm gonna have to take that back because this is a little special. I've had it since I was nine years old, and so why don't you hold on to it for a little while? <laughs> Guys, I'd like to uh, walk Carlos home today. Yeah, that's probably not a good idea, Coop. No, that's a terrible idea, Coop. I'll be fine. You'll be fine because you and your number Johnny Five camera are gonna stay right here. I will go. <laughs> okay. Go. Yes. All right, show me where you live, Carlos. Where you? Yeah. Are you killing cargo? OK. Huh? Yeah, OK. City beautiful. Is this your house? Ask if this is where he lives. Well, well what's wrong? What, what, what did you hear? ¿Quién está ahí? No, no, no. ¿Pero por qué? Oh, my God. Hell no. Hell no. Let's go. He was led. I know you saw that. So like four or five trips ago, uh, <laughs> I don't even remember. This little Mayan guy comes up to me and he's asking me about my sandals. So I'm like, well, these are like Jesus's sandals because you know, we're supposed to walk in Jesus's shoes. I changed his life that day. Ahí viene mi hermano. Ahí viene Francisco. Señor Sam, ahí viene Francisco. Samuel. Samuel. Señame la cara ese. Sam. Hola, Julio. Te dejé entrar en mi barrio. No te cobré un solo centavo. Y ahora me metes a tus malditos gringos en mis negocios. Cálmate, Julio. Yo sé que fue tonto para dejarlo ir. Pero eso no te da excusa para hacer lo que tienen haciendo con esa chica. Apenas es una nena. Vas a pagar como los demás. Mira, tú sabes con todo mi corazón que nosotros estamos aquí para estos chicos. Y lo que tenemos son para ellos y sus familias. ¡No dispare! Estás faltando el respeto. ¡Francisco! ¡Es tu día de suerte, Francisco! ¡Hoy te volvés hombre! ¡Más mate este rujo!
Ella es tu hermana, Francisco. Y es esclava. ¡Está mintiendo! Tú te crees un soldado, pero no eres. ¡Ahora eres mi soldado! ¡Pásmalo! Te van a esclavizar. Te van a esclavizar. ¿Me entiendes? Como lo tienen a ella. ¡Mátalo! Y después van a vender tu ira. Como venden su cuerpo. ¡Mátalo! Ven, mijo. Hace lo que tiene que hacer. Te amo. Follow Jesus. No, Chaz. That right there is what happens when you do. What? Open your eyes, man. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. You, self righteous, narcissistic, you're not God's gift to Guatemala. Where's this coming from? By the way, I'm Coop. Great to meet you, buddy. How's the ribs? Good job, sweetie. Oh, 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 oh. Hold still, hold still. All right, did you hit your head? Yeah. Okay, hold still. Head back, head back. Easy. Oh. Head back. Head back. Oh. Okay, no blood. That's good. Keep still. Keep still. You are pregnant, correct, Mary? Yeah. Okay, how far along? 22 minutes! Oh, 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 I need Scott. All right, head back, head back. It's okay, Casey. Oh. My guess is it's preterm labor. I mean, she grabbed her abdomen and just fainted. Contusion on her head resulted from the fall, but no evidence her water broke. You have medical training? Say again? Sorry, eardrum shocked to hell. Military? Yes, sir. Army medic. Two tours in Afghanistan. We appreciate it. She will too. Baby, it's gonna be okay. I never should have left her. And you, you can't beat yourself up. God called and you answered. Robert called and I answered. He's right. God called you down here to do his work. To help his people. Yeah, you were down here for God's glory. Now go be with your family. God's glory. Can we hold off the labor? We're certainly gonna try our best. <laughs> and if we can't, Don't give up, Mary. We're gonna do everything we can, okay? Mm -hmm. Scott's on his way? Yes, he's on his way. Thank you, Dr. Hines. We need to pray. Lord, we just want to thank you for Mary, for what she means to us and to her family. We just want to lift this family up to you right now and ask that you give your blessings to this precious little baby. We ask that you instill Mary with your grace and a peace that only you can provide. And please provide peace for Scott as he makes his way back from doing your work. Is 
Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Do you have a phone that works that I can use? No, sir, I do not. I'm so sorry. Ah. Tell me what's going on. Okay, 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 okay. Hold on, hold on. All right, they're coming. They're coming. Breathe for me. Okay. All right, me. I need you to sit up real quick, okay? Okay, lay back down. She's going into labor. Let's take her sleep. Let me go ahead and get the gurney. Pasó, amigo, ¿estás bien? Todo bien. just took her back into surgery. What? She woke up, she started screaming, they took her back, she was in a lot of pain, and then they... Hello. Scott. Oh my God. May I have your ticket, please? Sir, may I have your ticket, please? We need to keep the line moving. Thank you, sir. Enjoy your flight, sir. Hola. Excuse me. Excuse me. Mary Cooper? Yes, sir. Let's go to Becca. Let's go. Mary, where's, where's, where's she okay? She's okay. She's on the third floor in room 323. Casey. She's fine. She's with Robert and Monica. Let me take this bag for you. Thank you. Dr. Hines. Mr. Cooper. How's Mary? She's gonna be all right. We've given her meds to help her rest. And the baby. Come with me. She's a girl. She's fighting hard right now. But she doesn't have much time left. Scott, I want you to go on in and be with Mary for a few minutes, okay? And then we're gonna bring her in so you can hold her. And so hold her. The cold hard face of I can't. It's important for you to hold your baby. You I just can't. It's a miracle that she's even still with us. I, I can't even explain it. It's as if she was waiting on you. She was waiting on you, Scott. Dresses, frills, and bows. Brown. 
round and round and round we go. No hair. Empty dresses, frills and bows, all fall down like dominoes. Empty dresses, frills and bows, round and round and round we go. Hey, kid. Are you sure you're ready to get back at it? Scotty, I know you're angry. It's okay. I just hope your aim is right. Because when I saw the footage, yeah, you've been praying a lot with your friends. Tell me, why wasn't he listening? Oh, I know they'll say that he doesn't never turns his back on you and God is good all the time, right? Well, answer me this. Who would they have given credit to if she had survived? Don't waste your suffering, buddy. Use it. never said that we wouldn't suffer and in fact he said that we would but he also said that we can turn to him and his grace will heal us i don't deserve grace yeah but none of us do it's the point right look i just bring it back to the cross when he was up there looking down on all of those soldiers that were torturing him he prayed to God. He begged God to show them grace. Look, I know that you're blaming yourself for whatever you think you did wrong, but one has nothing to do with the other. God shows grace. You just have to ask for it. Have you seen it? Seen what? I'll send you the link. I'm trying to track the snake down now. Ooh. Ballard. I'm gonna kill him. Beyond the friendly exterior of your local house of worship, hidden cameras reveal the shocking, hypocritical truth about the modern church and its members. Oh, no, no, I, I took him from a old lady. She was blind, it was- The vast majority of all mankind to hell. I sniff it to get high. I like to geek up pass out and pee myself. It's true. Oh. She sold out to her boyfriend, and her husband signed off on it. Filthy slums of Guatemala City pretending to give a crap about all these little street kids. We owe it to ourselves to treat ourselves like royalty before we stoop beneath our station. Beneath our station. Undercover in the House of Hypocrites, coming this fall. I can't watch this again. We brought this on ourselves, Scott. I wish we never left California. We never should have taken Ballard's money, and we shouldn't have betrayed these people. I don't think I had a choice. It's my fault. No, I no. pushed you into taking it. You I didn't. know. Ballard came to me. Mommy, are you and Daddy fighting because you miss baby Callie? No, sweetie. I'm sorry. It's okay, Mommy. 
Babe, look. I'm gonna make this right. Why are you still wearing those? Babe, trust me. I really think you should take those things off. We gotta tell the whole truth. I know you did not just walk up in this house. What are you doing here, Shane? Don't. It ain't worth it, Hoss. Why don't you pretend to be my friend? Shane, I did. I didn't. Guys, the video you saw, it was not <laughs> me, okay? It was my producer, and, and you, that was a hack job. I mean, it, that it doesn't matter. I'm just, I feel so bad. I'm really sorry. This is invasive. What did we ever wait, do? Wait, wait, guys. We got to do this right. They're still part of the small group, so let's everybody just grab a seat and let's talk this thing out. Well, um, these glasses are how I collected the footage. But if you don't mind, I'd like to record this. Why? The world needs to know the truth, and this is our chance, our chance to set the record straight. I got nothing to hide. You guys? <laughs> the level of deception required to do something like this? I don't know how we move forward from that as friends or as business partners. It hurts. But God didn't punish you for this, Mary. What confuses me a little is that you came back. I mean, why? I felt like I gave Buddy Holly that seat. You and Shane going after that little girl? You not being here when your baby girl was... I told you that none of us deserve his grace. But he offers it anyway. You have been a guest in my house. And you've played with my kids. Y'all's pain was our pain, too. We shared it with you and gave it to God. But then... This... I just... I don't know, man. I just don't know. This is stupid. I mean, you're right, it's a hack job. It's too ridiculous to even get mad at. I mean, seeing yourself like this, it kind of makes you think about how you're perceived. I get it, look, I mean, it's not cool to follow Jesus. You found you a bunch of targets, right? Congratulations. But I think, I think God's working on you. You lost a little girl, but you saved one down in Guatemala. You pulled her out of the slum. Robert, I'm sorry, I reject the idea that, that you put Coop on that plane. God put you on that plane. This was his plan. You can mock that if you want, but that's, that's what I believe. I, th I think he's working on you. I think you accidentally let him in. Yeah, you were such a talented editor. Uh, 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 don't start whining. I did you a favor. Look, you are trending. <laughs> 47 hours of footage, some of it really, really powerful stuff, and that's what you cherry pick. Yeah, well, man, you were the clever editor that put all the, the best stuff in a folder labeled, sorry, Lord. 
This is total bull. This is what people need to know. The people, they're not gonna buy this. Mm. This, is, this is trash. It's cheap garbage, no, man. No, 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 because the people are stupid. They feed on outrage and they want to be told what to think. So what better target for their outrage than the church, man? What is your beef with these people? What is my beef with these people? Well, their entire religion is a lie. It's just, hey, you, just, you just do whatever you want. Yeah, take a picture, invade my privacy, have a beer on me, but just if you hit anybody, you kill anybody, it's okay because you can just, you can just pray to Jesus and make everything all better. You know what? You think that you can dump all your sins out on Jesus because you've taken the official pledge. Well, real life doesn't work like that. The things that you've done, You've done. What have you done? God? It's Mary. Um, look, all this religion stuff makes me uncomfortable and it makes you not feel real. I wanted to believe that you were punishing me for my lies. I wanted to blame you. But I'm getting that's not how this works. I read every one of Jesus' words last week, twice. And I get it. I get why people would follow him, but I'm afraid. I'm afraid that if I said yes to something that I'm not entirely sure is true, I would be living a lie and I cannot do that. I'm sorry, but I don't have the strength to forgive people who would crucify me. No one does, that's not natural. from God through others to me. Grace. <laughs> I give up, Coop. <laughs> I felt from the beginning that this thing would crash and burn. And I guess I convinced myself that it was okay to lie if I got closer to the truth. And in a way, I did. But I also violated a group of people who, no, they're not perfect, but they live for something so much bigger than themselves. Lord, take me back hey, man. Coop, good to see you, buddy. Chaz. Corey. Corey, did you say? Yeah. Well, um, are you meeting anybody? Uh, no. Do you want to sit with me? Sure. So here's the thing. I regret what I've done. But I don't regret going through it because I got to know people like Sam. And here's a guy who seems to have let go of his own crap and does his best to let Jesus just live through him for the good of these children. Kids like Carlos, who live in a world of sin, fueled by sin. But Sam and his staff, they don't just provide basic needs. They show their boys that by fulfilling their most basic need, a relationship with a God who desires them, they're armed to face a world that doesn't. Can we see? I have to ask myself is what do I believe? 
I believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God. I believe in the forgiveness of sins and life everlasting. And I accept Christ. I accept Him as my personal Lord and Savior. the director, Scott, to join me up here on the stage with his beautiful wife, Mary, and their daughter, Casey. Scott and Mary have actually added to their family. If you'll give your attention to the screen, you'll see these three beautiful children that they've chosen to support, giving them shelter and clothing. Give it up for the Coopers. Casey. <gasps> Casey. <gasps> Pepper! I thought you were in Ralph's tummy. I missed you so much, Pepper. Oh, Billy, how did you? I was just cleaning my bike, and I see something hopping along, and I thought, yeah, that's it. So I grabbed her. Thank you, Billy, for everything. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, Mr. Billy. You're welcome, sweetheart. You're an awesome neighbor, Billy. <laughs> oh. Back at you. Cater. <laughs> Cooper. We all missed Pepper, didn't we? Oh, unbelievable. The amazing vanishing peeing Pepper. <laughs> that reminds me. Are you so happy, honey? <laughs> the brand new French press. <gasps> oh. oh, thank you. No, oh, thank you. <laughs> I missed you so much. You ready, partner? Let's do it. Okay. <laughs> Don't forget your shoes. Oh, Jiminy Christmas. <laughs> right here? Okay. Just a little off the top, Shane. A little shaky. Oh, really? Oh. He's got some, right? Oh, oh hey, guys. No, no, no. Big black man don't plank or chimichanga. <laughs> Not to mention, I got to poop real bad. Oh, okay. My stomach been oh. hurting all day. Whoa, 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 I quit. I quit. I've seen this movie before. It doesn't end well. Did Deke tell you about it? It's like a mushroom cloud. All right, y'all. I hate to be all R. Scott Cooper on you, but uh, we got to document this moment. Pull it ah, in. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. These are my friends. 